Hello. Hello. Can you tell where we are? The fountains and the monorail up above. Yep. We're at Epcot. We've been here since it's 1121. We've been here since about 10, but the marathon is going on. And we don't want to be those grumpy people that complain about it, but it's <laughs> a little bit. It's it's gonna go through the crosswalk with the process. Yeah, it's it's an eat up. It's an inconvenience, is what it is. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, but it's an inconvenience. Um, if I had paid for an individual park ticket today, then you would probably hear me be pretty crappy. Yeah. But that's why I guess you got to do your research. Yep. We wouldn't. Have, we we knew it was going to be today, so it's not like we came here and were surprised. We just have never seen what it's like in the parks. I mean. You pretty much can't go anywhere without some sort of a something going on. Wait and cross in a crowd situation. So, but it's fine. We had what did we have? I had a donut. Oh yeah, and a like a lemonade thing. Right. I had a frozen lemonade and a donut. You had a stardust something. Yeah, this um, one of the ones we had last time. Except I didn't. We didn't vlog last trip, but. It's like berry or something like that. Wild berry, maybe? Something like that. Yeah, it's one of the 50th anniversary celebration sip smoothies or whatever. It's good. It's really good. I wanted to have coffee, and I'm going to need some caffeine at some point, but it was too warm. Um, it's supposed to be 84 we today. we ended up sitting on the bench in the breeze. And, and it was cool. And it was cool, yeah. It's 77 right now. It's hot in the sun. Um, but it's nice in the shade, and there's it's a really nice breeze. breeze. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not bad. And when you sit over by World Showplace, this is the day you probably show get sunburned because you're sitting. Show place. Showcase. For some reason, I couldn't think of it. Is it Showplace or Showcase? Have we ever been here before? World Showcase. <laughs> the World Showcase. <laughs> that was a weird moment. Um, when you sit over there, you can feel the like droplets from the water off the fountains. Yeah, because of the wind. So that was kind of nice, but. Now I think we're heading towards Living with the Land. We're not 100% sure yet, but we're kind of heading in that direction. We'll probably do Spaceship Earth and pop into the Creation yeah. Store and all that stuff while we're up here. Um, because World Showcase is kind of Busy. crazy right now because there's runners going through it. So I think they're all they're running all the way up to the front here. I think so. They are, yeah. So I think once that is winding down, which I think should be not too long here. We'll be down to like the stragglers. Um, I think that'll be a little bit easier, but anyway, we just started day two. It's only Sunday. It's only Sunday. The plan is to be here pretty much all day. All yep. We can pop out and take a nap. I'm sure we will because we're our, the resort is so close, but yeah, that's the plan. We'll see what we get up to. Bye. Bye. sitting in Sunshine Seasons. There's Soren right there. I mean, it's not called Sunshine Seasons. It's called the Land Pavilion, but this place is called Sunshine Seasons. We're having bacon cheeseburgers. They actually look really good. The bacon even looks really good. They came with some chips, some soda. I just checked our virtual queue for Ratatouille and it looks like we are 150 it says right now, so a little less. 50? Yeah, so 150, 50, 50. Oh, it was 115 when you looked for me. No, it was 115 this morning. But anyway, it, now it looks like it'll be about a little less than two hours from now, so that's not bad to be able to get on that. So we're going to eat our lunch and maybe try to get on Spaceship Earth. 
and then we'll have to see if we have enough time to comfortably shop in the creation shop or if we want to come back so we don't feel rushed there. But we'll see. Oh, we are checking out what's it called? The creation shop? Yeah, it's pretty quiet here. Yeah. It's really nice. I mean, they really did a, a good job. Oh, that's a fun one. I like this blue one here too. There's a very blingy uh, lounge suit here. Whoa. Oh, I see loungewear. Stay tuned, because I bet we buy some things. I do have those pants. All right, we're gonna go shop. We are in the new club cool. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Strong. I want that. That could go with our uh, napkin dispenser. Yes, we now do have a napkin dispenser. Our, uh, 50s uh, kitchen. Oh, it's so cool. Look at all the Coke stuff. Oh, I see Beverly. We gotta have Beverly. We kind of have to, don't we? <laughs> I think we have to. I like this uh, classic t-shirt right here. This one? Yeah, uh, that's very cool. And then you can get like some ice cream floats up there. And then there's a whole bunch of the free beverage things. There's a raincoat or something. I think we need to go try it, don't you think? Okay, so it got a little bit more people behind us, so we couldn't really film taste testing. But we tried them all. Um, I'll insert a picture right here. Two pictures, actually, of the flavors. Beverly. We didn't try the one because it was not working. Beverly's disgusting, as usual. The Dominican Republic Country Club Meringue. It was good, it and was that's good. that's one that we saw at Target. Yeah. Minute Maid Joy from Korea. It was very Apple watered down. Tea. Yeah, I don't know if that was a true. Yeah. These watermelon, royal watermelon. And that was too sweet. Yeah. The flavor was okay, but it was too sweet. And there was China Smart Sour Plum. It was it okay. Bad, yeah, it was actually, it was decent. And cucumber Sprite. Which I didn't really taste the cucumber super strong. Yeah. And then Viva. Viva was the last one. I don't even know what the flavor is, but I loved it. Slightly tart, sweet raspberry flavor. Mm, that's why. Did you like it? Yeah, I like that one too. That one was good. I'm glad that was that the last one. one. And, uh, the country club. Yeah. yeah. And Beverly is still a B word. Oh. She is literally a B word. I know Beverly is a B word, but yes. <laughs> Disgusting. So. All right. I think we're down to like 60 or 70 minutes till Remy's. So we're gonna head that direction and we got stuff. So tonight we'll have a little haul. You get one guess, you get two guesses and one doesn't count. Yep, on what, what type of thing bought, I bought. bought. Stay tuned. Oh, how peaceful is it in here right now? Football on the TV, but yeah, nobody in here. Super quiet. We just got back from Epcot. We will be going back to Epcot, yep. but taking a midday break. We just rode Ratatouille, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Second time we've ridden it. Yep. It's so fun. Yeah, that's fun. It's really cute. It's one that I would say, um, if you are going to do a like the lightning thing, which starts tomorrow for this. Well, I think you could buy them today too, but there's yeah. no virtual queue starting tomorrow. I would say this is one that's worth it if you've never ridden it and you're thinking about doing one. Yeah, it's good to try. Yep, it's so cute. Um, what else did we do since last time we talked to you? We were eating at Sunshine Seasons. I went to the shop, bought some stuff. Oh, that's right. We have well, talked we to you have. since then, yeah. I think. Yeah. We had the Coke thing. And all yeah, that. we bought some stuff, which maybe I'll show you that when we get back to the room instead of always having to do that at the end of the night. But yeah, we tried the pop. That's right. And then we just decided, so the breeze is gone. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was is. super nice breeze this morning. It's Dead, it's dead, stale, stale and very human. Yeah. So, midday break time. One of the unbelievably huge perks 
yeah. of staying at the beach. To walk back to our room and then we can walk right back. It took us about, what, maybe 20 minutes, maybe, if even, if even yeah. to get here from the France Pavilion. And if it did take us that long, it's only because I walked slow. Got back here and thought we'd hop in here for a second, but it's not cool in here. No, let's go to our room. So I think we're gonna go to our room. and you can mobile order, yeah. which is nice. So, the barbecue burger, really I wanted to pull the pork on top more than the burger, but, and then some beans with burnt ends, and some berry punch. I got some garlic toast and mac and cheese. You weren't punch. quite as hungry as me. No. Nope. But I can eat some of your burger, I guess, if you don't want. Yes, you can. Do they have like a pork burger sandwich by itself? No. A barbecue burger? No. Oh. So we are going to go enjoy our dinner. Okay, so I've decided to have a deconstructed sandwich and eat my garlic toast separate and try the barbecue sauces. I've never tried them before. So we got vinegar-based, savory, savory and sweet, sweet, you said? Sweet and savory. Sweet and savory, and then the smokehouse dry classic rub, dry which I think is probably will be my favorite. That's a thicker one, like a cla more classic, I guess. Let's see. Like vinegar chips, so I don't know what that is. Any... It's very salt and vinegar chip tasting. Is it? Mm. It's very spicy. I like it though, it's got a really good kick to it. Okay, let's try this sweet and savory one. I don't like that one as much, it's a little too tangy. I made a yeah, I mean, it it something you said like brisket, sweet and savory. Yeah, a little bit too tangy for me. This was classic smokehouse something or other, this last one. It's oh, a yeah. little thicker. Yeah, that's more like where you step barbecue sauce being. Mmm. Mmm. That's the best by far. Really? More classic smokehouse. Very like sweet baby rays kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah, very much like that. Mm, that's my favorite by far, but I do like the vinegar one too. I would stay away from the other middle one probably. Good. long day. It was a longer day than we thought, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's, um, what time is it right now? It's after seven. I don't have my well, watch and eight. you are my phone, so. It's almost eight, I think. It's almost eight, yep. Uh, we walked 16,000 steps today. 
Yeah. We calculated the distance based on my steps anyway, from the park Epcot exit, Inter the International yeah. Gateway. Yep, yep. Exit to our room. To our room. Yep. And it was point three six miles. Yep. Thousand. Thousand fifty some. So. Thousand, yeah, thousand hundred, whatever, eleven 1, yep. hundred maybe. Yep. So my steps. Yeah. So slight, you know, variance. But for but, point three, a third of a mile. So that's pretty good for. Pretty good. Close. Yeah. You're close. Really close. Yeah. Super convenient. Um, so. We ate at Regal Eagle, which we showed you guys, and then we went and we picked up some goodies at the Caramel Cooch. And there's one of them. The other two oh, are so good in the refrigerator. We will show you those before we close it out tonight when we snack on them. But mm, it's the mm, best. this so is the best good. caramel corn ever. Um, and then we have some goodies to show you. What else did we do? Oh, we saw Spaceship Earth lit up. Yeah, first time we saw I think that I the filmed that too. So I, either you'll oh, have yeah, already yeah. seen that clip or I'll stick it in here. Um, yeah, with the changing lights. So awesome. Okay, you've got the bag of stuff we got first. We got this stuff at um, Creations, which is formerly known as Mouse Gear. In oh. Epcot. Some Guys, loungewear. How cute is that? It says cozy and it has Minnie Mouse in there. Oh, it has Minnie and Mickey. Oh, yeah. I think I only thought it was Minnie. Oh. They're smooching. Are they sleeping? There's. Or hugging, I they, think, or having well, hot cocoa. I don't know. What cozy. Are, they're probably She's sleeping. got like an eye mask on. Yeah, these are PJs. I mean, they're so cute. They have these stripies on the arms. These are 3XL. So, for reference, I have no trouble with their 3XLs. They are plenty roomy enough for me. And I am a very large. So, if you are a fellow large person, go for their 3X. That fits you well. Um, $49.99. Yep. And discount of ten dollars. Yeah, twenty percent off AP discount at Creation. When you can't get one without the other. Of course not. It's a set. <laughs> Look at those. They say joy. And they've got Mickey. No. Oh, the vans, they're so cute. So another lounge set. And those were forty four ninety nine. I think I don't know which was which. Yeah. One's forty nine. That's one's the joggers. Forty four. Um, both twenty percent off. Everything we bought today was twenty yep. percent off. Just to clarify. Yep. We also used our um, Disney Visa rewards that we've earned to pay for almost Perfect. almost this entire purchase. Yeah. We had ninety dollars worth of to, rewards. We had to pay ten dollars for all. So this. I can't like. Don't you? Wouldn't you recommend that? Be, if you are know, in a position come, yeah. where you are able to have a Disney Chase Visa card and you come to Disney World a lot, absolutely do it. We have spent or we have saved hundreds of dollars that way. Yeah. We try to buy like our groceries, like everything kind of leading up to a trip using that card and then yep. just pay it off. So, okay. So I have a new emo. I did not bring him on this trip and I'm regretting it. No. He's Winnie the Pooh. I will insert his picture right here. We bought him two new outfits. He's got a little a jacket and a shirt and some corduroy, corduroy pants. pants. I mean, come on. <laughs> Those are twelve ninety nine. They're so stinking cute. And then Ugh. a little vest and a hoodie and some like jogging pants. I mean, kinda. come on. How cute little, is that? Little vest, yeah. I'm really regretting not bringing him on this trip. Yeah. He will be coming on all future trips. Um, he may even be coming on some non-Disney excursions yeah. when we get home. What do you, you got a bag there too? Yes. Uh, this is, oh. Um, if you know us, you will be so incredibly surprised that this stuff came from the Norway Pavilion. Yeah, we like bought everything at the Norway Pavilion. Like the Norway Pavilion should sponsor us. To be fair, I am mostly Norwegian, so I feel like that yeah. justifies it. And this is uh, not really a souvenir <laughs> per se; it's just a a vest. Helly Hansen. Which I will. I wear my jacket all the time, and I love it. And now I, I got a vest to kind of go along. This with it. this Helly Hansen stuff is so nice. Yeah, don't say how much it is. Okay, we are gonna say how much it is. It's one hundred and fifty dollars, but we got an annual pass discount. 
thirty dollars off. Thirty dollars off. So. And uh, yeah, the I mean, you've already gotten well more than yeah. What you I pay wear for. I you wear my jacket. jacket all the time, so mm -hmm. not necessarily a souvenir, but something I wear or something useful, I guess. It's the thing where I always kind of go, okay, this is it's Florida fun, though. Like you sell a lot it. of this, but then yeah. you think, yeah, but we live in Minnesota, so this is perfect for us yeah. to buy this. It's fun to say it came from here. Yeah. Okay, so then I got something from that pavilion as well. Ooh, this is great. Like stylish, or since 1988. Yeah, like a little, sporty, like a baseball. Yeah. yeah. Baseball tee, kind of. It was $36.99. Um, that's not on that one. No, I it's think not. I I'm, the... It was $36.99 with 20% off. I believe. Yeah, thirty six ninety nine yeah. minus seven forty. Also, a size three X. I mean, they, I, I'm finding plus size stuff so much easier to find there, yeah. even in the pavilions. So excited about that. Is that it? I think that might be it, except yeah. for what we purchased in Germany. Germany. Which is his number one nationality. Yeah. Look at these little. This is a little lighthouse with a Christmas wreath on it. Really cute. It's like wood, and it's uh. Ginger Cottages, and it's you, it says it's his, find all the secrets. There's Ginger Man. There's hidden Ginger Man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really like cute that. to and look you at. Can, like, there's kind of other little villages they sell, and you can put like little tea lights or fake tea lights in the bottom. And light yeah, them up. I don't think you'd want to put a real tea light no. in a wooden thing, but yeah, the little fake ones. They're they're so cute, and we have a lighthouse kind of yachty theme going on in our bedroom, so I think that'll be really yeah. Really I don't fun. see the receipt for this one so i don't know that's yeah, right there you see it it was already up here oh it was yeah it's oh, right that's there. Right, yep. so that was 29.99 discount 20 percent bucks yep and then this other one was 16.99 and minus three dollars and 40 cents for the discount look at a little germany sticker on the box and this is a tradition we've done most years and now we want to do it every year um we buy a new christmas ornament every trip we like to have a and they, uh, a Disney Disney Christmas ornaments on the tree, and we've kind of gone with this style the last I think three. Yeah, so we're kind of getting a collection of this. A collection style. of this the same style. This one is so cute. We looked at this one I think two other trips. It's got uh, on this side some nutcrackers and. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm guessing means. Merry Christmas Maybe, or well, something. Yeah. What does that say? Germany Pavilion, F World, Epcot World Showcase, but Freulich Kleinhachten. Google it. We and will on the back, Google that and figure out what it means. It's Mickey and Minnie, and they're having a pretzel. Isn't that cute? With their little Santa. I love outfits. it. I think it's so cute. So, yeah. We're excited about that one. And we just kind of wandered our way through around um, World Showcase and around the, the port there and then back to Canada and meandered our way back here. And now I think we're going to take some showers and put on some cozy clothes, get some stuff ready for tomorrow because we made a change to tomorrow's plans, didn't we? Already. Hold on, I have a Hollywood Studios map stuck to my bare foot. <laughs> It's wild around here. Um, we had a reservation tomorrow for the Brown Derby, Hollywood Brown Derby. It's a place yep. we've never gone. We thought we would try it. We, I'm kind of glad we did. We peeked at the menu today, and we're just not excited about it. Yeah. We're just not excited about it. I feel like maybe we go to the lounge sometime if we want to check out the inside or whatever. Yeah. Um, so we canceled it, and... Now we have a breakfast reservation at 8.35 at Ohana. I've wanted to go to Ohana for quite a while. There's no characters there right now, which is fine with us. We no. don't care about the characters. Um, and it's not, well, it's never buffet at Ohana. It's always family style. Yeah. It's family style breakfast. So I think it'll be kind of fun. Um, my sister and I had an Ohana reservation booked for our April 2020 trip. And then when we, obviously that trip got canceled because Disney was closed. When we rescheduled in October, um, Ohana was closed. They weren't. They didn't reopen then. So we that was a bummer, and we've never been there. They've traditionally been very hard to get into. But yeah. I think with this 60 instead of 180-day dining reservation thing, don't you think that changes things quite a bit? Yeah. 
So we got that. So we'll get up and we'll head over there relatively early. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Our park pass is for Hollywood Studios. So we will have to either click in there or not visit a park tomorrow. So we'll see how we feel. And then um, otherwise, I think we'll do the monorail resorts in the morning. And yeah. excuse me. Probably bum around there, there a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know how that works with parking at a resort when you have a reservation and if they care how long you stay or any of that. But if they don't say anything, then I'm going to assume we're okay. Yeah. Um, we keep looking up at the TV. But anyway, yeah, we're going to go now, kind of get cozied up. We will close this out right before we go to bed um, or when we're snuggled in, when we try our new treats from the caramel pooch. So we'll see you then. Hello. We got lots of weirdo. I always yawn when the camera comes on. Yeah, and we've got some weirdo angles going for you tonight. Yeah. But um, we decided we were too lazy butt to take showers, so we will shower in the morning. We've got everything figured out for the morning. Um, we even moved our Ohana reservation back by a half an hour, which is nice that you can sometimes do that. So, um, But we are getting ready to watch some Psych on my iPad. But we wanted to show you our treats that we got from Werther's, or from Caramel Cooch. You've had this a couple times. Many times, yeah. It's, Almost spilled it. It's a butter bar. Look at how greasy it looks. It's Ooh. so good. It's basically like caramel and like buttery, almost like shortbread. It's so good. And then we've got our caramel corn, which we showed you before, but we'll show you again. Yummy. This is another new one. This one's new. It's gingerbread cookies with caramel, caramel and buttercream icing. This one we're going to have to try to see what we think. I mean, oh my gosh. That's like amazing. A gingerbread oatmeal cream pie or something. Mm -hmm. That's super good. We both that's like soft. And we both like gingerbread cookies anyway, but mm, that's super soft and stuff. That's good. That's amazing. Have you had the butter bar? Yep. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Not as much as you, I don't think. But okay, well, we don't need to try the butter bar or the caramel cord. We could tell you they're delicious. Yeah. But, ooh. That's now, really good. this I think this is special. I think it might be seasonal, so I don't know if it was meant for the holidays because gingerbread Maybe. or what. But if you're going to be at Disney World anytime soon, if you like ginger. Yeah, cookies. check it out. See if they have it. It was under the special offerings. Wow. If they do, go for it. That's it really was like $5.49. And I mean, look at it. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's good. <laughs> well, it's hard to compare, but you know. Okay, Princess Leia. It's <laughs> anyway, amazing. Super good. Mm. So, we are going to hole up and watch some TV and relax. And anyway, day two is in the books. I am. I know. But tomorrow starts the actual work week. So, tomorrow's yeah. the first day of actual vacation. vacation where we should be at work. So, yeah. Anyway. And we're booking another month after this. Yes. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Yes. We are. Right. We definitely are. No, we're not. We're totally joking. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for us tonight. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night.